Hello, my name is Ben Sayer. In this video, I'm going to show you a quick way to add patrilineal and matrilineal lines to a focus group in the Master Genealogist. So right up here on the toolbar, I'm going to click on Explorer. And you'll want to make sure that, you're, that you don't have a filter in, um, in operation right now. So if this little button here, the funnel with a line through it, um, is not grayed out, then that means you've got a filter in place, so just click it to clear your filter so that it looks like this. So the first thing I want to do is actually create a filter, and that filter will uh, filter this list of all of the people in the database down to just those people who are in the matrilineal line or the patrilineal line of the subject person. So I'm going to click on this little icon that looks like a funnel, which is the filter icon. And then I'll set my first condition. And the field that I'm going to select on is, is patrilineal ancestor right here. So I'll click that. And then we've got the operator right now is on the ID number of a person. So I'm going to set that to the subject that I'm interested in. And then I want to connect two different filter criteria. So I'm going to pull down this box and I'm going to select or because we want people who are either a patrilineal ancestor or a matrilineal ancestor. If you have a problem and get no results in this set when you try it, uh, make sure you didn't select and here because you're unlikely <laughs> to find someone who's both a patrilineal and a matrilineal ancestor. So I'm going to select or, and I'll drop this box down and go down and select is a matrilineal ancestor of ID number and again, I'll put in that, and then I'll click OK. And you'll see on the little statistics that we ended up with 17 people. I'm just going to close that rather than waiting for it to close. And so we now have this list of people in the Explorer filtered to 17 names, and these are just matrilineal or patrilineal ancestors of the, of the subject person. So I want to put these people in a focus group, so I'm going to select them all. So I click on the first one, hold down the shift key and click on the last one. So they're all selected. And then if I control click on this list, one of the selections I have in here is to add the selected names to a focus group. So I'm going to select that. And then I can just close out my Explorer window. Uh, one of my habits is to clear my filter when I'm done doing that, but you can do it whichever way you like. And then if we look in the focus groups by clicking on this focus groups icon in the toolbar, you'll see that those people are added to that focus group. Now, you can, of course, save that focus group if you want. I'm going to close it. And just to show you what it's done, I'm going to turn on the accent for the focus group. So let's change accent by all names matching and we'll change this selection to focus group right here. Contains the person and we'll click update and then if I select OK you'll see that since I had that selected to highlight in the background of red any person in that focus group, and I change my root of this tree to the subject, then you'll see the patrilineal and matrilineal lines are highlighted. So you can see the members that got added to that focus group.